Hey everyone, welcome to Brightest Life. Today, we will be talking about the basics of breast cancer diet, foods to eat and avoid to lower the risk of developing breast cancer, or to help in the overall well-being of individuals living with breast cancer. Breast cancer has many causes, such as age, family history, genetics, and gender. All of these are factors which we can't control. But a person can have control over aspects such as smoking, physical activity levels, body weight, and overall diet. Research suggests that 30 to 40 percent of cancers are attributed to dietary factors. Some cancers respond well to specific foods in such a way that these foods can play a role in a healthy diet in general and may even prevent the development or progression of breast cancer. These foods include a variety of fruits and vegetables such as salads, foods that are rich in fiber such as whole grains, beans, and legumes, low-fat milk and dairy products, soybean-based products, foods rich in vitamin D and other vitamins, foods with anti-inflammatory properties such as spices, and foods that contain antioxidants, particularly plant-based foods. Studies also suggest that the following foods help prevent breast cancer. Dark green leafy vegetables such as kale and broccoli, fruits especially berries and peaches, beans, fish, eggs, and some meat. Beta-carotene, which is found in vegetables, especially carrots, also lowers the risk of cancer. Beta-carotene is speculated to help interfere with the growth of cancer cells. It is recommended that we eat 5 or 9 servings of fresh fruit and vegetables a day. Eating the right type of fat such as those found in olive oil, avocados, seeds, and nuts must be consumed in moderation. Soy is also a healthy food source which may reduce the risk of breast cancer. Soy is present in foods such as tofu, soy milk, and soy nuts. Soy is rich in protein, healthy fat, vitamins, and minerals, but low in carbohydrates. Foods that may increase the risk of developing certain types of cancers, even breast cancer, include alcohol, artificial sugar, fat, red meat, and processed foods. Regular alcohol consumption increases the risk of breast cancer. Sugar is associated with an increased likelihood to develop breast tumors which are likely to spread. Fat from processed foods increases the risk of breast cancer, but some plant-based fats may help reduce this risk. Trans fat in processed foods such as fried foods, crackers, donuts, and packaged cookies or pastries must be limited. Red meat is also linked to the development of breast cancer, especially if this is cooked in high temperatures which can trigger the release of toxins. Processed meats are also high in fat, salt, and preservatives. This may increase rather than reduce the risk of breast cancer. Vitamin D from foods and sunlight exposure may help protect against breast cancer. Vitamin D is present in eggs, cold water fish, and fortified products. A person can consult a doctor to check their vitamin D levels. If these are low, the doctor may recommend a supplement. 
green tea may have several beneficial health effects. It contains antioxidants, and these may help strengthen the immune system and reduce the risk of breast cancer. Turmeric is a yellow spice that may have anti-inflammatory properties that could limit the growth of breast cancer cells. Maintaining a healthy body weight is beneficial for well-being in general, but it is particularly important for people who wish to prevent the development or recurrence of breast cancer. Obesity is a known risk factor for the disease. Thus, exercise is also important. A healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables and low in added sugar and trans fat reduces the risk of breast cancer and other cancers. This diet can also lower the risk of developing obesity. And that wraps up our quick discussion today on breast cancer diet. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment and share it with your friends so that you can help spread awareness on healthy behaviors. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit that bell notification icon for more updates once we release new videos. And if you have video suggestions, do let us know too by commenting on our comment section below. Once again, this has been Brightest Life. See you on our next episode.